Hello, I'm Ilian St. Hilaire, and in this video we're going to show you how to install Mesh Central 2 for on Windows very easily. And so the easiest way to do it is to go to MeshCommander.com. You go to Mesh Central 2 the section, and there is a new uh, Windows installer. It's an MSI file. You download this over here, and I already have it downloaded right there. You double-click on this, and that's it. It will install all of Mesh Central 2 in about a minute. Now, I'm going to run through the installer. You agree on the uh, open source Apache license, and there's a couple of options in the screen. The first one is whether the server is going to be multi-user. Um, if you don't select that, then the, the server will uh, have a single user, so as soon as you hit it, it will have no login page, but the uh, but it will only be available on local host, so you'll be only be able to to, to um, access it from the computer that you install the server on. But so most people will install multi-user. If you do install multi-user, note that the first account that's created on the server is going to be the administrator of the server. So what you want to do is, as soon as you're done uh, installing the server, you'll want to immediately go and create that account. The second option is to auto-update the server every 24 hours. It's going to be within uh, an hour after midnight of a local time that uh, the server will check with uh, the update server and make sure uh, to see if there's any updates. And if there is, the server will go down for um, 30 seconds to a minute uh, or sometimes much less than that, and the update will occur. Now. Uh, those are the two simple options. The third one is what mode you want the server to be running in. You have LAN mode, which is the easiest. It's basically your server will have no uh, fixed IP address. You install other agents around the server. They have to be installed on the same local network and they will multicast to find the server. The nice thing about LAN mode is that it does not require the server to have a static IP address or a static domain uh, name. So for most people, if you just want to get started, manage a few computers inside a local network, that's the mode you want to be running in. If you want to go more complex, there is a WAN mode, which is over the internet. And so that's usually when you're uh, you're setting up a server on the internet for AWS or something like that, then you uh, you select that mode, you will not have the local scanning and local LAN options uh, available in that mode, uh, and you do s need to specify a fixed IP address or DNS domain name. And then the last one is hybrid. This is basically both modes simultaneously. You have, um, you must have a static IP address or domain name, but you also enable uh, or leave open all the LAN options. So I'm going to try the, the, the dual mode. And as my uh, name, I'm going to use devbox.mesh.meshcentral.com, which happens to be the name of my server. Now, this will be different for your server. And remember, this has to be fixed because agents and AMT machines will use that name or IP address to connect to that um, to find the server. So it's super important that you type in the right thing. If you don't know what to type, please select LAN mode and just use that. Uh, otherwise, if you know what you're doing and you know that this is the name of the server you're installing on, then go ahead and do that. Make sure to not uh, mistype, type it correctly. And that's it. After that, you hit next, install, and you know, just a few seconds. Uh, maybe a minute to uh, to install everything. I want to note here that you must have Node.js installed on your system in order for this to work. So if you don't have it, you can um, the the pr server well the installer will prompt you to ins to download it and install it. So not too hard. And that's it. We're finished. Now when we're finished, I'm going to notice here that it goes in program file open source, and this is where it's installed. And it will take about, um, let's see, it's not done yet. It will take about 30 seconds to generate all the certificates for the server. So there's, let's see, five different certificates that the server creates. So uh, it needs to create those cer certificates first, and then the server will, be, will run. 
So I can hit finish here and you'll see those five certificates of have, have, uh, being created. And all you need to do then is that, uh, by the way, the, the, the installer will install this as a background service, so it will automatically run when you install the computer. So very easy. And it will also set up an icon on the upper left here on my desktop. And when you click on this icon, it will just do an HTTP S to localhost. That's all it does. It's just a link. And the first time you hit the website, you're going to have to accept the certificate because it's not a truly valid certificate. So you're going to have to accept that. And boom, you are um, on your server now. So that's all. The entire database has been set up. Everything has been set up here uh, and is ready to go. Now, as I said earlier, the first account is administrator. So you want to go ahead and create an account. I'm going to create the account like A, 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 just for my, for testing here, and I'm ready to go. Um, if you want to take a look at my other videos on how to use Mesh Central, you can click here, select a, create a new Mesh policy, test Mesh. This is like a group of computers. And once you have the test Mesh, you can click Add Agent. This is where you download the agent, uh, install it on the other computers. They will pop up here and you start managing all the computers. Uh, another note here is that, uh, by the way, this runs all the time in the background. So if you click uh, and close the, uh, if you close the browser, other users on the network can come in and log in, create accounts, and uh, and you know, uh, start managing their computers. Uh, another thing to note is that in the open source folder, program files, open source, Mesh Central. There's the node modules with all the runtime for the server, but there's two folders here that are interesting. The mesh central data and mesh central files. Files has all the user files that, that the user uploads to the server. And data has all the database and settings files and all the certificates. So what you want to do is periodically back up these two folders, especially the data one. Obviously, if you care about your users' files, also back up the file one. But th this is what you need in order to restore the server. If you ever want to restore a server, just install it, copy those two folders back in, and you're ready to go. So that's it. That is the entire installation of Mesh Central 2 on Windows. Super easy. I think uh, anybody can do it. Thank you.